Hey, how's it going, Taurus? This is uh, Martelo Chris. Welcome to my channel, The Guard Owl. I'm going to go ahead and do a general read for you for May 2020. Today is the first. Happy belting. I hope you all are doing good. I hope you're all feeling healthy. For those of you in Texas, I'm happy to say that we finally opened up today. So a lot of y'all are going to be going back to work. I know a lot of you are looking forward to it. All right, let's see. Santísima Muerte. Please give us guidance. Please help me to give the information and uh, the messages necessary for the general public of Taurus. Silence, I ask of the Holy Kindred, sons and daughters of La Santísima Muerte, high and low. At your waist, fall, Mother, I will relate the things unspoken and forgotten and kept in secret. Heat and cold as I walk through this home, a far scene which rise in terror. Okay, Death is what's crowning your reading. Four of Cups. Five of Cups in reverse. Two of Swords. The Chariot in reverse. Four of Swords in reverse. Prince of Pentacles. King of Pentacles in reverse. Eight of Pentacles. Three of Swords in reverse. And the Hermit. Okay. So crowning your reading, Taurus, uh, we have the Death card. Um, death has a lot to do with transformation. It is not a bad card for those of you that are kind of wondering what it, what tarot cards are all about. And for those of you that have seen that particular tarot card, obviously for a lot of people, it's, uh, it may seem like a scary card. It's actually not a, a, a scary card. It's a good card. It's a good card to have. It means the end of old things and the beginning of new things. Okay. Four of cups overshadowing the five of cups. Uh, I'm seeing here in your family line that uh, somebody in the family line, and the family line could be not just blood, but uh, anybody that you can consider uh, family, such as a family friend, you know, so somebody out of your bloodline, but so close. Uh, I'm getting here that uh, there has been offers made to you uh, to what regards those offers are. Um, I can't really say because this is a general read for the mass of, of Taurus. But there's particular options that uh, you, you are not giving into. Uh, and it could just be that because you're a Taurus and you're a little bullheaded sometimes. Um, you're a little weary about the ifs and the buts. Uh, what if I go into this direction? Um, but what about this or but what about that? Um, I don't really see you budging with any of these options that, that are being presented to you for whatever they may be from family or family friends. Um, this could be having to do with a job concerning the fact that, you know, those Tauruses in Texas, uh, you know, Texas had just opened up today um, from the CV-19 quarantine. Um, but I see you kind of being just like, you're not really wanting to budge. Uh, you got the five of cups in reverse right here. Uh, you're just like, I don't know what's, what's going on with you, Tauruses. Uh, you're not willing to listen. Um, you're standing your ground. Uh, and for what reasons I cannot really say due to the fact that this is a mass general read for the collective of Taurus. Those of you Tauruses that would like to get in touch with me and we could go a little bit more into depth on a personal reading, uh, go ahead and contact me. We can definitely do that for you if you want to tackle this. That would be nice if we can do that. Okay. Two of Swords and uh, it's overshadowing the Chariot. This is in your social line. 
So again, Taurus, you know, this can this can go, you know, hand in hand right here. <laughs> Literally, it can go hand in hand. You see that? Um, and this two of swords, you know, you're, you're crossed. You're, you're not seeing anything. You got your head down. You know, you're, you're not accepting, you know, the offers being, you know, made out to you. This could be in the job, you know, perspective, work perspective. Um, and with this chariot, then again, it's like I'm saying, you know, you're not willing to budge. You know, you got this this five of cups in reverse, but this one is kind of going coinciding with me with this chariot in reverse. Nothing's moving for you, and it's all because you will not budge. You have to budge, Taurus, okay? Um, I know... There's probably a lot of trust issues, trust factors going on with whatever this whole situation is with, with all of you Tauruses. Um, but you have to budge. Okay, you have to budge. It's time for transformation, okay? Let that trust in that death card. It's time for transformation, the end of old things and the beginning of new things. It must occur. It is the way of life. With this Four of Swords, uh, this is going into the work line. We have uh, the Four of Swords in reverse. Uh, and uh, it's overshadowing the Prince of Pentacles. Uh, again, you know, the Four of, of Swords is kind of like rest and all. Um, you got, you know, your little guardian angels over here looking after you while you rest. But this is in reverse. You know, so you're not, you're not paying attention. You're not listening to something. Definitely not listening to something. You know, we got this death card. You need to be paying attention. I do we got the death card, but I got a little tiny statue of La Santísima Muerte right here in black. So, I mean, the signs are there. Um, with this Prince of Pentacles, though, this has a lot to do with an extension of, of, of I don't know, I'm seeing contracts. I'm, I'm seeing uh, paperwork being done. Um, something that has to do with contracts. Maybe that's the reason why you're not wanting to budge. Maybe that could be the reason for for some of you Tauruses not wanting to, you know, you're 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 questioning on the what ifs and the buts. A lot of what ifs, a lot of buts, um, and that's what I'm seeing with this right here. Um, and that's good. That is good. But you're not really like. You're running yourself into a wall with it, though. You're taking more time on it than what you should. Okay? In particular, some Tauruses that have tattoos on upon their left leg from the thigh going down. Those of you in particular with those tattoos on the left thigh going all the way down your leg. Any of you male or female Tauruses out there that, that have tattoos on the left thigh going down the left leg, the ankle... Those of you in particular, that's hitting right now. You'll know who you are because you have those tattoos. This King of Pentacles over here in reverse with the Eight of Pentacles. Again, Pentacles, uh, work, money. Uh, this Eight of Pentacles right here is definitely about working. Okay? Building something. Working on something. But with this King of Pentacles being that it's a king and Taurus, you know, you've got those horns. Oh, look at that. There they are, right there. See that? Interesting. Okay. Taurus, don't be so bullheaded. You really need to budge. I don't mean to be rude, but seriously, um, some of you that have, you know, maybe that's what it is. Maybe some of you are being, you know, Maybe you're being targeted by your family in that sense of like, you know, hey, you need to make a decision. You know, we're relying on you. And maybe it's being a little stressful for you. I'm seeing some of you being a little stubborn. Look at that face that he's making. Some of you are just a little stern face like, yeah, I hear you, but I ain't listening to you. Um, you're getting a little bit of copying an attitude with some people about it. You know, don't be like that. You know, um, you, you need to budge so that people will get off your back. Again, of course, you owe nobody nothing. This would be all your decision, but it's for the benefit of yourself and those around you with this death card. Okay, you need to trend. There needs to be a transformation done. You know, trust and change. 
So I got the Three of Swords in reverse, overshadowing the Hermit. Um, and this is this has to do with your overall health, how all this affects you. So with this Three of Swords in reverse, I'm also seeing it's not so much like, you know, there could be like the third parties or whatever, or more than just a third party, but it's in reverse with this Hermit. And that is, again, because you are being a little stubborn. You're, you know, you're just, you're not willing to budge. You're not really listening to nobody. Um, this kind of negative view, I don't want to say negative view, but, you know, the way you're being about it, a little stubborn, a little bullheaded, you know, keeping your head down and not looking up to see, you know, what the offers are, um, you know, keeping your eyes closed to things, you know, You're going to end up running into a loss, okay, Taurus? Uh, I hate to say that. I hate to make this a little glum. But you seriously need to let this 13th Major Arcana card uh, go through. Because this is what's overshadowing your general read, Tauruses. Okay? This whole entire read, this whole entire read right here is all about trusting and transformation. All of it. All just, you know, you need a budge, Taurus. That's like the key word. You need to budge. Four words. You need to budge. Okay? What will be the outcome for Taurus if Taurus does budge? Perfect. So, the Eight of Swords. Okay, look at that face. Still kind of closed off, but kind of looking over the shadow, kind of just, just kind of like saying, okay, I'll trust a little bit in this. Um, so that, you know, if you budge, it's still going to still gonna be the monkey on your back, okay? Uh, with this, uh, the High Priestess right here in reverse, uh, I'm showing it's, there's not really, there's really nothing for you to be too scared about. Um you know, with these black and white towers that you're sitting in between for, for me and what I'm seeing in this reading, there's really no duality the, uh, for for the what ifs and, and the buts. Um, trust in the process of transformation. It's going to work out for you. This really isn't that bad of a reading, Taurus. You know, it may sound so, but really it's just about transformation. And when you do so, everything's going to come in for you. Okay, look at this three of wands. All the sales going to be setting up, to, coming up towards you. This ain't that bad of a card for this read, actually, okay? Look at all of this coming in for you. What do ships usually carry up? Cargo, right? Sometimes money. Things may start to look up for you, okay? Trust in the major arcana of the death card, number 13. 13 is transformation, okay? Time to transform, Taurus. So do it to it. And we will see you next month. I may be do I may be doing other general readings throughout the month of May for all the signs. We'll see how it goes. But this is your general read for May 2020. Uh, and this was started on May 1st. It's a Friday night. Okay, Taurus. God bless you. And I hope you make the necessary transformative changes you need to make. Okay, good luck to you.